everyone, it's Ross, and in today's video, um, I want to talk about another method, more methods of winterizing my fig trees. We are going to be mentioning, not in this video, but we are going to be mentioning wrapping them and methods that if I were to be wrapping them, which I'm not going to be, but if I were to wrap these trees, what my method would be and what that would look like, the techniques I would use. Um, of course, all a part of the winterization playlist that I have created for you all. In this video though, we're going to be talking about other methods of protection. Um, things you wouldn't think really make that much of a difference, but if you add them all up individually, you have a quite a huge difference. Um, we talk a lot about microclimates, macroclimates. Um, as a backyard grower, I try to mention those kind of things as many times as I can. And this is certainly, I think, a really great microclimate that I have here in this, from here over. Um, this whole area just gets a lot of heat. It's been proven. I've seen it from years of growing in this location on this property. I've seen it for years now. Um, the house here this concrete along the house, this raised wooden bed. The fact that the soil, all of this really is quite raised above grade. Um, we've added in lots of rocks. All of this creates a really nice microclimate. It adds a lot of heat. Um, the temperature here, especially at the soil level, is quite different than the temperature, let's say, over there, which is quite out in the open. Um, not much protection from the wind. It also gets less sun because in this location, we have a southern exposure that not only is it a southern exposure that gets the most amount of sunlight in the northern hemisphere uh, that you can possibly get, but we're also on a quite a south facing slope. From here it goes quite high and it just goes all the way down and just keeps going. There's a nice little portion here that goes off that way and actually goes over here towards the fence, which is quite a nice dip over here and a lot of water collects in this location. This is a really soggy area, especially now today, you can see where the soggy areas are. Why? Because it's been raining. Um, it's been raining nonstop here actually in the fall you can see there's just moisture covered on the ground. There's moisture on the trees. We have a very humid, foggy, eerie day. Um, but this is good because you can see where the moisture sits. Right? You can see where that moisture goes, where that stuff collects. And I bet you that in this location, the moisture will drain from this location First, in a couple of days from now, if it doesn't rain, we start to get sunny days. The moisture will evaporate. Things will start to dry out in this location before any other location on my property. So it's the warmest location. It's the sunniest location. We have the least amount of water in this location. Um, this is really the prime location for planting figs. Now you'll see on the other side of my property, because I don't just have them there, I have other trees in other locations, and in more locations I will be planting them. In this raised bed right here, which has been an absolute disaster, I've talked about plant uh, planting depth of fig trees. We've tried to raise the, the soil, we've tried to create mounds, plant the root balls of these trees higher above grade at least a portion of it. That way they have access to more heat um, during the summertime. And also the soil can warm up quicker. We just have to protect the roots from 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which isn't that big of a challenge. You know, protecting the root ball, if it's a, a foot above grade, um, you know, keeping that above 20, I don't really think is that difficult. Um, so we're going to be planting a lot more in this raised bed. At least five more trees in addition to this one here. This is a bit of the experimental tree. We have a spot here for another tree, another tree. So we've got 
seven going in over there. Plus we have seven additional spaces along the house and it's a very similar situation. It's a very similar plan. We're raising the soil, we're adding on rocks, we're using the wall as protection. This one here grows pretty much sideways. This tree is unusual. Um, because it's so low to the ground and has that habit, it has more access to the heat from these rocks, this raised bed that it's pretty much in right here. Um, this tree should do phenomenally well and have a, a natural form of protection, not something that requires work, that you have to come out here, tie the branches together, wrap them with a tarp, wrap them with this, wrap them with that, and then cross your fingers that your tree doesn't come out of dormancy, you unwrap it and it's all molded and the tree is completely dead all the way to the ground. You know, but it's a very similar process on this side of the house, whether it's in the open, whether this is a western exposure or a southern exposure, I've applied the same principles that I've used over here in the southern exposure, the prime location. I've applied the same principles to other locations in my yard. So that is pretty much the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it's a lot to come at you with, um, but we've covered a lot of these topics in previous videos, and we've covered them usually one at a time. Um, and each of these things may seem a bit small, but when you add them all up, as I've said in the beginning of this video, it does create quite a bit of a difference. And we're gonna be taking temperature readings, uh, we're gonna be evaluating these trees, really watching them closely throughout the winter time. I'm gonna be giving you guys updates and we're gonna see what exactly happened come spring. And I kid you not, if everything goes well, the trees in this location are going to be reaching the top of this, this structure here. It's about uh, ten or, 9 or 10 feet tall. And these trees, as small as they are right now, are going to be at the very top in only a year or two. So that's the goal, that's the plan, that's my vision. If you want to see more videos on the winterization series that I've created for you guys, it is in a playlist A to Z. Um, there's only a few more things to cover and we're out. So this was Ross and I'll talk to you all soon. I'm going to get out of this uh, eerie, foggy, rainy weather and uh, I'll catch you all soon. Take care.